Alex here with a Legal Nuts and Bolts video on objections to recommendations. In Nevada, we have certain areas of the law that are saturated with litigants, for example, small claims cases, in, Ve in, uh, in Vegas specifically. Um, and so what they do in these areas of the law is they hire um, many judges. They have different types, different names and types. So the small claims ones, they're called uh, small claims referees. Um, another area that's saturated is the restraining order, also known as orders of protection against domestic violence area. Um, there's a lot of people who go and file those types of cases, so they have domestic masters that help the judges deal with those. Um, child support, another big area, so they have child support masters. Um, discovery is another big area where they get a lot of traffic, so they have discovery commissioners. Um, these, these unelected many judges that have been hired, not elected, hired, apparently in Nevada cannot enter orders. What they do is they enter a recommendation for order. And um, if the litigant has a problem with that order, they have to file an objection to that recommendation. They cannot file an appeal. This is why I'm doing the, this video. The whole reason why I'm doing this video is because people don't understand this and they're getting confused. They're filing appeals to a hearing master's recommendation and the, the, the Supreme Court or the Court of Appeals is dismissing it because you can't appeal from that recommendation for order. Um, you can only appeal when a specific statute or court rule or, or, or something along those, some kind of authority of the Constitution authorizes an appeal. Otherwise, you can't do it. Um, I do have a video on writ petitions that helps people um, get relief uh, in areas of the law that do not allow an appeal. You should watch that video if you want to know more as to how writ petitions work. But typically, you can't use writ petitions in any situation where you could have filed an appeal. And you can appeal an order that comes from a master's recommendation, but you have to go through a middle step before you actually get to that point. And again, I'm doing this video to help people understand what that middle step is and how it works so that less people, at least people who are watching my, my channel, um, make this mistake and, um, and accidentally, inadvertently file an appeal prematurely. You can't file an appeal, again, to a master's recommendation. You file an objection to that master's recommendation. This will force the district judge or justice of the peace to review that, that recommendation and either um, heed your objection and enter some kind of order consistent with whatever issues you raised or um, enter an order consistent with that recommendation, um, basically rejecting your objection. At that point, if that does happen, that is when you can actually file a notice of appeal if it's something that's ordinarily appealable. There's, there's a video on filing an appeal that talks about other situations that may get in the way of you filing an appeal, but generally the point of this video is to tell people there is a middle step between a master and a judge in Nevada, and there is a specific thing that you have to do, objection to that rec master's recommendations, to basically get through that middle step to reach the judge and ultimately file an appeal if it's appropriate in your case. So that's all I'm doing with this video is letting people know that masters are not judges, that they don't enter orders, they enter recommendations for orders, and that if you want to challenge that recommendation, it's not done by filing an appeal, it's done by uh, filing an objection to a master's recommendation. Why is it done that way? Because it says so in the court rules, in the statutes, etc., etc. Other states who knows, maybe your masters can enter orders and maybe they can be appealed and all of that. Um, as with all my other videos, please understand that this is my personal experience with Nevada. You may be in another state, you may have different legal principles to abide by. Um, what I'm trying to do here is let people know that this is a thing, that this could affect your case and to not just do what I'm saying, but to actually look into what I'm saying to see if it applies to you as well. Even for people who are in Nevada, something could change like five years later. And, and if you follow my, I don't want to say instructions because I'm not really giving instructions, but if you do everything that I'm saying, it may not apply five years from now, uh, from now or 10 years from now. So that's all I wanted to do with this video. Also, your state may not, may not even call them masters. Your state may have other names for them. They're, I don't know, magistrate or something. In Nevada, we have domestic masters, child support masters, small claims referees, discovery commissioners. These are just four different examples of unelected mini judges that are hired, not elected. Again, I, I have to keep stressing that because um, sometimes people get confused as to how 
that's even a thing. Well, in Nevada, our court rules and our statutes do allow the various district courts and justice courts to hire these these helpers. That's how they, they see them as helpers. And they don't use them in all of the different cases. They just use them in specific areas where, as I mentioned towards the beginning of the video, the court system is just swamped with litigants. Um, I'll recap them one more time before I end the video. They're pretty intuitive as to what those areas are. Child support, small claims, um, restraining orders, orders of protection against domestic violence, and discovery. Discovery is odd because it's not... Those other three types of cases are cases that you can actually institute. Discovery is more of a middle zone for ordinary formal lawsuits, but it's an area with a lot of traffic, so they get help from the discovery commissioners. Um, different counties may have um, more referees or less referees, and some counties may not have any at all. So like a rural county in Nevada may not bother with any small claims referees or discovery commissioners. They just have the presiding justices of the peace and the district judges. Whereas Clark County, which is our most densely populated county, um, they just have tons and tons of, of referees and masters and all that, helping the judges out because they just have so much to deal with. So I hope this video makes sense to people. If anyone here has ever had to deal with something like that where some kind of unelected official was presiding over your case um, and they you know, entered some kind of recommendation you didn't agree with and you didn't know how to challenge it because it was confusing or complicated, definitely post in the comments below, let people know about that. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If anyone has any questions with regards to how to deal with you know, domestic masters and commissioners and all that, feel free to post in the comments below or send me an email. I'll get back to you. So at this point, I'm going to end this video, and I'll see you guys next time.